It's Friday, it's nighttime, and I like my wine. I'm just trying to get warm. I'm in Charlotte. See, I'm from Brooklyn, New York, but ever since I moved here, I'm what I call weather bougie. I don't do anything under 70 degrees. I don't. Can't do it. But, um, nah, for real, it's a nice night. I'm 29. It's my first Friday being 29. I feel brand new. Let me tell you, brand new. I feel like I've matured so much in the last week. I know. But um, going with that theme of maturing and growing, I want to speak about something that was a complete revelation to me last year. That wonderful teacher over here. I learned something huge about relationships, about breakups, about carrying baggage into the next relationship. Now, a lot of us, you know, we hear the phrase, don't bring baggage into your next situation and a lot of us say okay no we would never do that we we end one thing close that chapter we move on to the next but i don't think many people understand what it means to actually carry baggage what that entails what that looks like and how we subconsciously do it the revelation that i had is that breakups dealing with breakups two-step process we think that, oh, okay, I got over my ex, I might still care about them, but I've, you know, that desire to want to be with them is no more, and I'm done. I can go on to the next, next person and hopefully form something great with them. What we don't realize is that it's one thing to get over that person. It's another thing to heal from all of the insecurities, all of the offenses, everything that you struggled with or faced, you know, as a result of that past relationship. That's a whole process in and of itself. Let me be totally transparent here. I realized in my last situation that I can be a bit needy. It's annoying. It's not cute. It's not attractive. It's a little bit childlike. I can be needy. And when I really dug and tried to understand the root of that, you know, one of the things I believe is that in the past, I've dealt with situations where either I was cheated on or I didn't feel wanted. I didn't feel like a priority. I felt like I wasn't the only one. And now, I don't want to say now, like I would still do this, but what I realized last year is that if anyone mimics that behavior, if they even start to act as though they're just tolerating me or they don't value me. I all of a sudden revert to past situations and I feel like, wow, you're cheating on me. And and I try to cling on for dear life and it just it's just bad, you know? So I had to confront myself about that. I had to, you know, find little ways to try to deal with the past and, you know, pray about it as well as really just come to an understanding that I am a great catch. I'm a great woman. I bring a lot to the table. I worked on being a bit bolder. I worked on establishing my boundaries, you know, gaining my voice back. And I had to go through that process and I had to realize that that's something that I needed to do. That it wasn't enough to just close one chapter and move on from a person. I had to move forward and heal the hurt. And um, God really helped me through that, of course. And I'm just so glad that he sent me that revelation. So I just really hope that you consider all of the areas that you might still be broken in and really, really try to, to deal with that before you move forward into a new situation and bring that baggage that you don't think you're carrying. Um, but anyway, I love you all and I hope that helps somebody. And I hope you're happy that I got some wine back. Birthday cheers. See you next week. Just make me